out on our back lot this morning and we're talking about Museum Month in San Diego. We have Bob with us this morning, uh, Executive Director of the San Diego Museum Council. Bob, thanks for being with us. Thank you. I uh, want to start off with what Museum Month is. A lot of excitement because we have, what, more than 60 museums in San Diego and uh, there are some offers for the young ones and for the adults to get out and enjoy at these museums, right? Right, exactly. It's 28 days of fun. It all starts tomorrow. Uh, but you can start today by going to any public library in the county. We partner with First Five San Diego and Sarah Library, so you can go to any library and pick up your museum month pass. Okay. And one pass gets up to four people into all these museums for half price. That's pretty awesome. I yeah, mean, it's great. Four people that you can bring in half price, and you can go in in person and grab one, or you can do it online, right? Right. This is for our first year in the 34 years we've been doing this. We're going to have a downloadable one, so you just go to our website, SanDiegoMuseumCouncil.org, and you can just download it right to your phone. It's a live document, so you can click on each and every museum and see what time they're open, where they're located. So real easy. It's one of the biggest draws, I think, of San Diego is how much we have to offer uh, all around the county in terms of our museums. Uh, tell us about why you want to put on a program like this. Uh, it's one of the things to show the diversity of museums. You know, we have everything from the Surf Museum to Oceanside to the Tijuana Estuary right. on the border, the Campo, out Campo, we have a railroad museum. So it's all over the county. So one for that, two, it's to make it more affordable for families, uh, to give them an opportunity to to be able to get into museums and remove that financial barrier to make it easier for families and their kids to get there. And you got choices, not just for the kids, for the adults, for everyone, right? Who wants to go visit different museums. Right, it's okay to leave the kids home. <laughs> and uh, Either or, right? right? Make Whatever a, you want. Yeah, make a date <laughs> night out of it, right. uh, plan a day. If you're gonna go up to you know, Carlsbad and you live in San Diego, then plan lunch or dinner or mm -hmm. something around it. And so you can make a day out of it or visit. You know, we list all uh, 60 of the museums or 60 plus museums wow. on the back of it. So you can plan a day plan ahead and visit more than one museum in one day. You, you know, Balboa Park has 17. That's right. So, a lot yeah. to do in Balboa. You mentioned right. Carlsbad. We got a couple of the museums here with us. We're going to start off with BJ, right? That's correct. Uh, up in Carlsbad. Let me grab the microphone and then uh, we'll talk a bit about your museum. I want you to tell us first off where you're located and then uh, about the museum itself. Yeah, I'm, uh, we're up in Carlsbad, California, Museum of Making Music. Uh, we celebrate the past hundred years of the people who make instruments, how people get instruments, and then what happens when you make music, when you pick up an instrument and try it out. So Is it, are the kids invited to maybe try things out? What's oh, that yes. like? Yes, yes, absolutely. We have an interactive area, lots of hands-on instruments. I brought a couple examples okay. from ukuleles, electric guitars, hand drums, harps, even plastic trumpets and plastic trombones Ooh, too. So okay. it's a lot of fun. We do uh, tours, field trips, family activities. Um, uh, six days a week, so it's a lot of fun. How long have you been part of the museum? Oh, the Museum of Making Music's been around for 22 years wow. now up in Carlsbad, and we've been participating in Museum Month for just as long. So. What's it been like? It's been a blast. It's a great opportunity to introduce people from around the area to music, to yeah. Carlsbad, to everything we have to offer here in San Diego County. I imagine the incentive, of course, is is beyond just the 50% off. It reminds people how much San Diego has to offer and museums that are available to visit, right? Oh, absolutely. From end to end, from North County all the way down to Chula Vista, it's, you know, there's so much to do. Uh, if people want to visit, you got a website? Yes, museumofmakingmusic.org, and then you want to get your coupon mm -hmm. at San Diego Museum Council .org. Yeah, like we mentioned, you can just download that coupon and then take that in right to you guys and correct. you offer the 50% off all right good morning to you two hello uh, tell us what what museum you're a part of we're a part of Menge International Museum located in Balboa Park my name is Deanna Benavides this is Susan. I'm Shannon Foley awesome okay Deanna and Shannon uh, tell us about the museum Okay. Uh, we're located in the heart of Balboa Park. Uh, we're folk art, craft, and design. Ex uh, we show art of the everyday. We really want to elevate that folk art, craft, and design, such as um, some friends that we brought with us today. Yeah. Um, and Deanna, who's actually, she's a staff member at Mingay, but she's actually one of our exhibiting artists in our pinata show. Oh, awesome. Tell you a little bit about. D do you make the pinatas? Yes, so I'm one of the participating artists, um, but we do have Piñatas, the High Art of Celebration, which is one of the first exhibitions to spotlight piñatas as a traditional craft and art form. So right now we have over 80 piñatas wow. um, and inspired works by piñatas. That's awesome. And then are there, is, can students participate and kids kind of do hands-on stuff? Yeah, so if you actually come to our Commons level, you're able to participate in our collaborative piñata, which is oh. Bertha the Burro. Look at that. <laughs> All right, well, awesome. I want to get to our last guest that we have here. Uh, we're taking you down to Chula Vista, right? So tell us your name and uh, where you're coming from. 
My name is Sadie. I'm with the Living Coast Discovery Center. And who do we have here? This is Mr. Rosie. He is a Rosie Boa. He's actually one of our animal ambassadors at the Living Coast. So. I was wondering how close I could bring this microphone to you without being in the danger zone. But oh, he's very he's friendly, right? He's friendly. Exactly. He's one of our one of our great little snakes that we've got. He's actually smaller than most of our other ones. And too. you said people can come and do the two finger yep. touch, right? Two finger touch right down the wow. back. Wow, how fun! <laughs> uh, remind us where people can go to get tickets uh, to the museum. Yeah, so we're at thelivingcoast.org. You don't have to buy tickets in advance, so you can just come on down and use the museum pass to get your fifty percent off. Look at that. Okay, awesome. Uh, Bob, thank you for being with us this morning, and thank you all as well. Uh, we have a quick break in store, but head to the website. What's the website people can go to? Museumcouncil.org. There we go. All right.